Greetings. I just wanted to show off this project that I've been working on. This is what I call the GR55 key tools. So this is for the Roland GR55 guitar synthesizer. One of the things that it does not have that I wanted was an intelligent harmonizer. So I built one using a Raspberry Pi and Pure Data. And it does all the calculations and I have a little GUI but what I also created was an option for a phone or a tablet to connect on and actually cycle through your different options. So I'll show this off and I also created a few other options in here too along with the harmonizer I created something where you can select through a bunch of different tunings and this will pop you into that particular tuning on the fly and this third option here lets you cycle through all of the instruments. You can enable PCM1 instrument and cycle through the entire list of 900 of them because I couldn't really find an easy way to do that on the fly. So this is again my interpretation of it. So and I also have one additional option on here that turns off the Raspberry Pi since it does not have a power button. So my thought was for this video I will just play some stuff and you can see yeah, how this actually works, the front end of it, and in another video if anybody is interested I can create another video that actually has the guts, how the uh, Raspberry Pi connects and how Pure Data works with it and I also have a foot switch that enables this harmonizer. I can show you how that works and how the network, I have a little no local network that the that the portable devices connect on so you don't have to be connected to the internet or anything to actually connect to the Raspberry Pi. I can go over all that in gory detail in another video if anybody's interested. So what I'll do now is actually show it off and you can hear what this thing does. And I apologize for the volume levels, which they might be a little off, but I just wanted to get a video out there so people could hear what this thing ha what this thing can do. So again, the uh, harmonizer, you have basically all your notes you can cycle through and your different degrees of harmony for your, your second note, uh, basically going through a majority of ones going up, all the way up to an octave and down to an octave. And this enables a harmonizer. This is the 12th string, again, which actually creates the second harmony. And the scale, I have a major and minor scale. So let's turn off the harmony for a moment and I'll just do a C. I'll just do a C, a C scale without any harmonies in it so you can just hear how it sounds without the processing. Your basic C scale, nothing too exciting. So what I'll do now is we'll go up a fourth, put on a C scale, C major, and I will enable the harmonizer using my foot pedal. Because in this case, I thought the foot pedal would be more useful than actually using a phone, because you might want to enable this on the fly. I don't think you're going to change a alternate tuning in the middle of a uh, song, but you might, so that's something that could be added later. And the same thing with, eh, I guess you might actually want to uh, update a instrument on that other page in the middle of a song, but these are all things that can be... Uh, revised in the, another vi revision of, a, of the uh, software and the whole setup. So I'm going to enable the harmonizer now using my foot switch. You see the buttons turned on, you get the nice little visual indicator and hopefully we have a C scale with a uh, harmony up a fourth at this point. And I think the um, tracking is pretty quick on it. And you can go up a fifth just to uh, make sure the thing's actually doing something. And do something more exotic like up to, I don't know, it sounds kind of weird, but somebody might want to do that. All the way up to an op octave here and uh, that can sweeten the sound, I guess.
And again, you have your different notes you can cycle through here. So if I wanted to do a D, um, let's, we'll try now, let's go back to a fourth. Now let's go, um, let's lower it by a fourth. So this will be a fourth down and we'll keep it in C, I'm sorry, D major for now. Just on the fourth. And you can also change it to minor at this point. And so that's basically just of how the harmonizer works. And it also will turn off, I, there is one other option I forgot to mention, if you change patches, if you change patches then this will turn the, um, it'll turn the harmonizer off. And that'll do the same thing for any of these different uh, selectors I have up here. It'll turn it off because when you go to another patch you don't have the, this additional processing necessarily going on there because it might confuse things with your other patches. So that's how the harmonizer works. I'll go on to the alternate tuning options here. So this is the same kind of thing. I'm gonna actually go to a clean patch so you can see how this works. I think that'll give you a better idea. So you can enable it on and off. You start with your standard tuning. And I'm probably just gonna play a C chord through a majority of these things here. Just so you can see it's actually doing something. So. I'll change this to an open C. Open E. So you should actually be able to hear too, probably some of the strumming from the string and then the actual processing in the background so you can actually tell it's doing something. You'll probably hear that too. Drop G sharp and... Oh, actually, I like this. This is an easy way to cycle through a bunch of different alternate tunings. You might not be able to try any other way really quickly. That one's pretty cool. And then you have your other tunings here. These are some really more exotic ones. Other people would probably be able to tell me actually what these are used for. So that's how the uh, alternate tuning option on here works. And again, this turns off as you change your patch. And now I'll show you the instrument selector option I put on here. So I have a patch here that just has my different instrument list. So the same kind of thing here, you'll see your uh, standard piano patch that you start with. And I couldn't really think of a good way to group these, so they, this basically just cycles uh, by about 200 each time you bring this vertical scroll bar all the way up and down, and you'll see this is going through your different instruments. And you can change your grouping here, and um, Get in your synths and stuff. And whatnot. So, again, I just thought it was... Easy way to cycle through and check out your different instruments. And you could also probably uh, change these with your patch, so... For instance, if I have a guitar sound on here, you could do this with one of your guitar patches too. I just use that with my instrument and just see how it would sound, but you could do probably something along these lines with your guitar sound and throw in your a pad with it. You have to make sure all your levels are obviously uh, working so you can actually hear something, but... 
I can hear it here out, adding a distortion guitar to my regular guitar riff. Patch. So I think there's some neat stuff you can do with that. And the final one is this power tools. Since the Raspberry Pi does not have a power button, I use this to send a shutdown command to the Raspberry Pi to shut it off because you don't want to just dump the power on it because it's a good way to corrupt um, your SD card. So I use this to cycle all the way through this guy and hit the power button on there and that will turn it off. So I did two different selectors on here so you wouldn't just uh, inadvertently hit like a one push button on here and turn off your Raspberry Pi and screw things up. Well, it wouldn't screw things up, but it might if you were expecting the device to still be working at that point and not be rebooting. So that's the that's the uh, forward-facing back background on uh, how this works. So again, if anybody's interested, I can really go through the guts and how the device works and the internals and the um, and the networking and it's got its own little um, private network that you connect on to so you don't have to worry about being on any kind of internet or anything like that to to work with the device. So again, if anybody's interested in that, I'll make a, a dish, a additional video that shows you all, all, how all that works. So I hope uh, you enjoyed it and um, thanks for watching.